meteorologist Tom Patton. All right, big story in weather. We are going to be about 20 plus degrees cooler today than yesterday, but still not bad. It's April, so a cool day should still be nice. But tomorrow is going to be even cooler than today. In fact, we're going to start out tomorrow with some really cold rain in the morning, and then that's going to move its way on out. All right, temperatures across the Commonwealth this afternoon. I think we're in the 50s, no, uh, stray 60 down to the south and southeast, but 57 down in Petersburg, 58, I'm sorry, 58 in Petersburg, 59 as you go down to Emporia and general 50s up on the northern neck. Today we'll make into the lower 60s, so we'll probably climb a good four more degrees yet. The clouds will be on the increase through the afternoon, and as we go into the evening and overnight, temperatures are really gonna fall back into the uh, mid 40s by two o'clock in the morning, and that's when we're gonna start to see some rain moving in. It's gonna be some chilly rain because temperatures will continue to fall throughout that system. Right now at the airport, you can see a partly sunny sky. Pretty nice looking day today, lots of sun. The birds are singing. I don't know if they're picking up on my mic or not, but. They're nice and loud out here, I know that, and it's good to hear the old birds again. Yesterday's highs made it into the 80s. 83 was our high. The past few weeks, they've been all over the map. We've had 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, which is a typical Virginia spring, up and down, up and down. The next few days are gonna be down. In fact, our trend is going to be somewhat below average for the next seven days. The average as we get toward the middle part of the week will climb up to 71. And I think we'll just see around 70 for a day or two, but generally the other days will be below average. So a little bit of a cooling trend. This is tough to see. You got to look hard though. Way out into the Shenandoah Valley, the Blue Ridge is a thin little strip of blue. That's for the upper elevation of the Blue Ridge, Afton in those areas. And uh, that is a winter weather advisory, meaning that travel tomorrow morning could be a little hectic if you're crossing in that direction on I-64, some of the regions in the valley they could see some wet snow, some accumulating wet snow out there. For us, it's gonna be a very chilly rain. All right, here's a look at the radar and the clouds. You can see some clouds starting to move in now. An area of low pressure combined with the frontal boundary to our west will bring us some early morning rain tomorrow. There's that winter alert one more time. So here's the hour by hour forecast. Clouds increase today, late tonight, some rain showers move in. There's two o'clock in the morning. If you look out to the west, you see that wintry precipitation. Now, it's possible that a few snowflakes may mix in a bit farther west than Richmond and a bit farther east than the Shenandoah Valley because it's going to be chilly. But I don't think a lot of people are going to see many of those unless you live out in that direction or travel in that direction. By 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, by noon, everything moves out. We start to dry out. It's going to be a chilly day tomorrow, but at least we'll see sunshine returning. In fact, by this time tomorrow, we should be dry and sunny, but just cooler. It's mainly a morning event, mainly a morning event. A few one hundredths to a few tenths of an inch of rain will be possible. And the seven day forecast, we've got numbers in the 60s and 50s. I'll tell you what, it's just going to be a cooler trend over the next several days. And look at some of those nights. We'll drop back into the 30s. Another chance for showers Saturday and again Sunday into Monday.